Hi, it's Paul from Wave5Trade.com. This is my daily stock signals video and today is Monday the 16th of July. Each day I just take one of the signals from our scanner memberships area and set it up uh, in our members area. Our members get potential long fifth wave trades and short fifth wave trades on the weekly, daily and 60 minute time frame. The fifth waves are the highest probability to move in a trend and therefore uh, really good uh, potential trade setups. We also do stochastic longs and shorts on intraday time frames as well. Today I'm going to look at long trades. So in the members area, our members just click on the image there and download the spreadsheet. The spreadsheet for today looks like this. This is the daily time frame. So these are potential longs on the daily time frame. Uh, at the bottom of the, the spreadsheet you can see there's the weekly and the 60 minutes. Uh, so we're going to choose one of these today and we're going to set it up. So I've chosen KMPR on the daily time frame. Now, first of all, I just want to make some observations on this uh, before we go into the wave count and everything else. Now, previously we've had this triple, quadruple, whatever top here, really strong resistance level. The wave 4 pullback has found support at that same level. That's a really good indication there. Now to isolate the wave count, I'm using the Ninja Trader version of our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite from Wave5Trade.com. It's also available for TradeStation, MultiCharts and Think or Swim. For those members that have already got this, uh, we isolate the wave count at these lows after this double top. We then go sideways and then make that big move up there. So we've got a, uh, the indicator suite automatically labels this once you isolate it. The wave one, the two, the long wave three, and now we've pulled back on the wave four. We've found support at this previous resistance level, very strong support resistance level. This it's a price, this $70 price is a price where institutional traders have made decisions in the past. And if this holds a support, it should go and go long again. So the filters in our membership, in our scanners membership, three main filters. The first one is we've had a wave four pullback against the main bullish trend. This wave four has found support in one of our automated probability zones. In this case, it's in the amber zone, which represents an 80% probability it's going to go on and make a new wave five high into our automated target zone up here around about $87, something like that. The next filter is that the wave 4 on the 535 oscillator, which is part of our indicator suite, has pulled back between 90 and 140%. It's still in there. It's still there. So with that positive momentum on Friday, we should see it. We get another positive day today. We'll see that uh, come back up. And then thirdly, the stochastic has pulled back against our false breakout dots here. So the false breakout dots in the overbought zone denote a very strong bullish trend. And when the stochastic pulls back against there, the likelihood here is it wants to go back to that strong bullish trend. So they're the three main filters, which gives us our initial start point. And then what we've got to do is look for sensible entries here. Now, our first point of call for entry is our 6-4 moving average high, the green moving average here. We want to be outside of that for Monday's bar position. But also, we have to consider this recent uh, three-day uh, period here where we consolidated at this sort of level. And it, it did act as resistance before it came back down and made... Uh, this wave for low in the amber zone here. So we want to make sure we're above that. So 76.64 is the entry long, which is way outside the 64 moving average high, above the high of Friday and above these highs here. The stop loss is at 70.14, which is below the wave for low. And then the target zone here, around about $87. So that gives us a 1 to 1.6 while still being very conservative with our entry here. Remember, this is a really strong bullish trend. This wave 4 has found support at a previous strong resistance level from that quadruple top, if you like. Uh, so if this holds and starts to move away, just 
want to be a bit conservative make sure we go through this previous resistance level there's an 80 percent probability it's going to go on and make a new wave five high into this target zone here around about 87 dollars so that's it it's very very simple to set up from our signals membership have a great trading day and i'll speak to you all tomorrow